Good morning my son. I am going to continue for the fantastic journey of Alexander the Great. Alexander stepped into Asia Minor, and won the first battle of them in Granicus. It was, actually, core troop of Persia in Asia Minor. And, Alexander could be free to invade these areas, without any particular difficulty. So, after siege of Miletus, siege of Halicarnassus, he moved to Gordian. Famous story of Gordian knot. He unloosed the Gordian knot, which people say, no one can unloose. Shakespeare also quoted this topic, in his work. Not on the ox cart, and so far so long, nobody could unloose. Do you know, how he did unloose? Yes, yes, just simply cut off it by sword. Very simple solution, but no one know these years. Sometimes, it has been used, as metaphor to explain brilliant idea to settle down the problem. Like, an egg of Columbus, Copernican revolution. To be a great game changer, he needs that kind of flexibility, I think. But also, very funny that, after this Gordian knot, Alexander was almost die. That moment, it was almost end of summer season, but still he jumped into river to swim. Then, he got high fever pneumonia. Even in the battle, time to time, he will put his body in a corner by himself. It seems, he was really believing, he was reborn of Achilles. And also, he was believing, he will never die. So, even in the battle, he was so bold to fight. Indeed, he recovered after a week. Afterwards, he marched up to nearby Mediterranean Sea. It was, one of milestone battle in his life. Against expedition of Alexander the Great, Darius III determined to take personal command to hit Alexander. Should be, he already obtained the information, Alexander got sick during his marching. Darius III was collecting large numbers of soldiers in Babylon, and moving to around there. Over there, in between Amanus Mountains, and Darius' side, there was large plain field, and Alexander's side was narrow seashores. Alexander already obtained this information from his intelligence agent. And, he strongly wants to do the battle in his side. Because, he knew that, Darius collected large number of armies. And, he did not want to let Darius to utilize, advantage of numbers. If, on the large field, more easy to suffer siege attack. Therefore, Alexander stopped his marching, and killed time in nearby Issus. Where, more suitable for him to conduct his game. Actually, Darius III did many mistakes in this battle. And I think, one of them in the beginning stage of this battle was this. If, he was patient to wait for Alexander, Alexander gets into serious trouble because, it was not good supply line, and Alexander must move. Anyway, eventually, Darius took action first. He moved his troops to Issus, with taking north route. Alexander did not know, they will come from north route. Indeed, he didn't know this route itself, and moved to south part along with Gulf. As a consequence, Alexander gave up the route for escaping, because it was covered by mountains, and gulf. So, they have only one choice, battle with Darius. It was psychological problem for Alexander. If, they know the route to run away remains, 
still less stress on the battle. However, Alexander had no way, except this choice, no way to escape. 5th of November, 333 BC, they met in Issus. Historical material said that, Persian prepared, 105,000 feet. Alexander prepared, 40,850 feet. Some ancient source said, Persian prepared, 250,000 to 600,000. But, now it has been believed, ridiculous. However, at least, they have big gap for the numbers of cavalry. Both, I mean, Darius and Alexander, their tactics was almost same. Ask their strongest cavalry on their right wing to open up a battle line. And, attack their left line. Darius' right wing was, facing to gulf. And, Alexander's right wing was, facing to vertical steep mountains. Darius enhanced their strongest cavalry on their right wing. It is, because, in between them, there was a river Pinarus, small river. Upstream of it, quite difficult to across. Strong current of river, and many debris, stone, branches of tree were there. On the other hand, downstream, that's mean Darius' right hand was, slow current. And, comparatively easy to across the river. Therefore, he placed bulky cavalry in right wing. Situation was, not so really favor for Alexander. Before starting the battle, Alexander went round to see their troop. And, he encouraged, cheer up his soldiers. Especially, the soldiers he knows, give short words, one by one. Then, he shout. To be a hero. Okay, my son, do you know, what is his strategy? His idea was simple, but point. Like a magic? He proud his Hitairoi, as the best of the best, strongest cavalry in the world. So, he wants to hit their front line, by his cavalry. But, in order to avoid loss, he asked light infantry to across the river first. They are more movable, and, although some difficulties, eventually, successfully across the river. Then, immediately produce bridgehead. It protects cavalry to across the river, without any damage. Then, hits left wing of Darius III. Actually, Many historians say that, Darius must stay, and keep his troop. Indeed, their front line, and right wing were pretty fine, up to that moment. Macedon front line was, on the boundary to collapse or not. Luckily, still narrow space gave difficulty to Persian front line. They could not develop their battle line to be wide. And, unfortunately for Persia, their boss was not that brave to be patient for tense of duel. On the other hand, Alexander is, full of brave heart. Even he had big injuries on his body, he did not stop. His leg also got serious damage. But, his heart, never die. and, open up, battle line, by himself. It is, quite rare case in the world military history. Commander himself conduct the battle, as one soldier. 
And indeed, he himself was strong soldier as well. It is idiot, and make no sense to compare Alexander, and Darius III. Darius has been frightened by Alexander. And, he run away, even leave down everything behind him. He left down his army there. He left down his soldiers there. He left down his precious armors there. And, even he left down his old mother, wife, and daughters. Can you imagine, how he was terrified by Alexander? This is the differences, between Alexander, and Darius, real and empty. Of course, if, Supreme Command escaped from battlefield, remaining soldiers will be so shocked, and lost their motivation for the battle. Although, frontline of Persian army was quite good to give pressure to Macedon frontline. Once, the information reached to them, Darius run away. They gave up for the battle, and immediately dissolved. Because, it was habit of Arabian to bring their many properties to the battlefield, Alexander was so surprised, many expensive treasures were being left on their backyard as spiles of war. It helped to improve war finance of Alexander drastically. And, people recognized, this boy is not just boy, but new great leader of their world. After the battle over, Alexander visited the Persian yard to see captured prisoners of this war, I mean, he went and see, Darius' mother, wife, and daughters. And, unexpectedly, mother of Darius knee down on, not Alexander, but his companion, Hephaestion. Cool air around, of course. Serious mistake. When, she realized her mistake, she felt, she almost dies. But, Alexander pardon her. Disregard her mistake. You are not mistaken, mother, this man too, Alexander. How he behaved, as ideal leader. It was fantastic victory, but, this victory also could not stop him. One of the great characteristics of him, he never stuck up. Never stopped moving, in his life. Even after amazing victory, he was thinking, his weak point. It was, yes, Marine. I am going to tell you another amazing strategy of him for his marine battle, in coming opportunity. As the journey continues.